Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you something that came into my possession recently. It's called an HP G5 USB-C hub. All right, sorry about the audio. It's going to be a little bit different than usual because I'm recording this off of a different device than what I usually do. That's because I just came into uh, possession of this, but I won't be keeping it for very long. But before I send it out, I wanted a chance to really just show you guys what this was and, uh, you know, why it's neat and all that stuff. So first we've actually got here the uh, power cord at 120 watts. This thing is definitely a power hungry device and I'll show you why here in just a minute it uses uh, in fact I'll make sure I get that on here including the part number and stuff like that just in case somebody ever has to do it it's 19.5 volt at 120 watts this is actually a uh, kind of power brick they would use for like a laptop or something like that so this thing is definitely heavily powered uh, the plug is additionally just like you would find on a laptop uh, a lot of HP's use these small mini ones so uh, yeah this is for all intents purposes basically a uh, laptop brick and then we have the device itself now this is going right out the door I will not be able to keep this although it's gorgeous I just I don't have any use for it I have somebody who does so I'm sending it off to the well to the next person uh, this is the device right here on the top of it we have the power cord down here we have the now this is uh now this is technically thunderbolt and you can plug it in without uh using thunderbolt it's just gonna limit the speed and some of the stuff it can do uh, it should still do everything it's just certain transfers and stuff like that will work better and faster so this is the actual cord that we have you'll recognize it it looks like a standard usb-c plug um but anyway we have a standard usb-c looking plug this is actually firebolt or i'm sorry thunderbolt and we'll make use of the higher speeds some i mean external video cards uses so this is pretty heavy duty and this here by the way this thing this thing weighs pounds like by itself uh of course you're about to see why on it we have here two USB, I believe those are 3.0 ports. I'll have to check on that when we plug it in and we run the specs on the computer. Two display port, one HDMI, one Kensington lock, and an Ethernet. On top of it looks like a USB throughput on the other side. Uh, but yeah, this thing was designed to be a self-sustained video card, USB. It's in effect almost like its own computer. It just in fact, actually, it may have a processor or another stuff. I'm not going to open it, but uh, it is, in effect, basically an, almost an entire computer. And what this is used for is when you've got, like, a business environment where you're bringing in your laptop and you're setting it down and you're using it, but you have a bunch of cables and connections and stuff like that connected to it. This is so you can basically leave this thing on the desk and connected. Then you come in with your laptop. You simply plug in this cable here and then the whole thing just basically lights up. Uh, to uh, power the device, you can see the plug is tucked away right in that corner. It simply plugs in and then tucks over so it plugs in just like so and then comes down just like that. After which you basically press the power button, of course having it plugged in and it comes to life. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna switch over to the screen here in a second and show you what that looks like. Uh, there's a couple other points I'll run there, but let's see, uh, over, okay, over here on the side, we additionally have a single jack for headphone microphone. You can get a splitter that splits that into a microphone and headphones. I can probably show you that on a website here, but let me make sure there isn't any other port or anything like that that I seem to be missing. Nope, I believe that is everything I want to show you on the port. This thing must put out heat because it's also got grills and other stuff, so it's very likely self-sustained video card, uh, fast, high data throughput and everything. Uh, I'll get some actual specs here on it here in just a second once I pull up the screen, but I wanted to start by showing you the device and give me just a second. I'm gonna pull this up, get my regular uh, cast back to my computer and we'll rejoin this here in just a second. 
All right, this is a continuation here of what I was doing before. I've got the host computer set up that I'm going to go ahead and load this thing on. Right off the top, though, before I do that, here is the primary specifications for this device. It is an HP USB dock G5. Uh, yep. That's indeed it. Uh, top LED button. The uh, top USB port on the back that we saw is indeed USB uh, data and power out only. So it looks like it's a 15 watt USB-C and then of course the plug to go to the computer. USB 3.0 ports also on the side. The combo audio jack. And then the back components, that's the USB 3.0, DisplayPort, HDMI 2.0, RJ45, and the Kensington lock. Uh, a couple of different voltages for each of the individual plugs. Uh, supports up to three monitors, uh, Windows 10 support. And if you happen to be in an environment where you need this sort of thing, we have PXE boot, wake on LAN, wake on LAN from S4, S5, LAN, W, LAN switching. So this thing can basically stay powered and you can initiate uh, remote power on and stuff like that if you want to be able to like remote into the system or something like that. Really, really neat to use. A uh, couple here's some of the dimensions. I will keep those on the screen for a second contents uh i also wanted to go ahead and pull something else up here so we're going to go to support.hp.com real quick uh it looks like most of the uh drivers for this thing are already inherently in windows 10 and very likely windows 11 you don't need a lot of them i did find that there were two drivers that are available if you need them so mostly this thing is plug and play don't have to do anything and I'm willing to bet money that you don't that we're not even going to need the uh, drivers that are on here but just in case you have a problem HBG or HP G5 USB C dock let's do that give it just a second uh, it's going to fight with me a little bit that's okay I did find it a second ago no so I do know that it exists here yeah we'll just start here I want to make sure I'm on Let's support hp.com and here we go HP G5 doc let's just do it let's just do a simple search like this here we go HB HP USB C doc G5 perfect all right now if you do run into problems in fact I bet that if you have like a Windows 7 system or something like that, this may be more useful. But here we can go to, uh, there's how-to stuff on here. This may actually be useful for getting some of the components of it up. But what I was more interested in showing you here was the uh, software drivers and firmware. All right, different operating systems, all that is fine. Uh, there is updated firmware for this. I'm not going to do that. It looks Everything seems to be working okay on it. If there's a problem, this is definitely something you'd want to do. Here's the uh, G5 audio driver if you need it. And then here is the network driver if you need it. In fact, this, if you're having trouble and you can't get it to like remote power on and stuff like that, this is probably where your problem lies. That's probably where that stuff is needed. Let's see if there's anything different for Windows 11. I doubt it's probably all about the same. Yeah, it's all about the same. All right, let's go for the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and let's see what happens. I'm expecting a lot of ports to come to life. So this will be really interesting. All right, I'm turning on the power cord. Let's see, I have it plugged in. Yep, I have it plugged in. This is me. This is additionally me plugging it into the power and making sure everything is good to go. Looks like this is going to take me a second. Okay, good. We have power on the bottom. There is a light out where the power cord is. All right. Looks like it is getting power. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what happens. All right. As soon as I plugged it in, the light on the top of the unit lit up. So there's a, there's a light on the bottom. And then I plugged it in, and then the light on the top lit up. I'm going to... Ooh. All right, that's interesting. I just lost feed. That's totally okay. I have a feeling I know why it did that. Give me a second. I'm going to press that again. Let's see if my uh, feed comes back. Oh, interesting. All right, so my feed came back. Give me a second. I suspect this has to do with the ports on the USB hub taking over. But let's see uh, what kind of new devices and stuff like that have appeared since we plugged this thing in and turned it on. 
and let's see okay cool so here we can already see that the usp or you yeah, i'm sorry hp USB C dock has already given us a audio plug to uh switch over to so here in the audio so that's really cool uh let's take a look at device manager and see what we got going on there hmm detection verification that may actually be the device itself i'll have to check in a second uh looks like yes here is that looks like we've got the hp docs so all my usb B looks good now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the HDMI and I'm gonna plug it into the dock just to see what happens to the feed so you're gonna lose feed for a second on the video as I'm switching the HDMI port into the dock all right I'm back with you you'll notice right now that as the recording starts the video is going in and out in a second I'm just gonna unplug that uh, I did find out what was going on uh, apparently, the uh, USB hub does not like my TV capture card, and it keeps inherently going on and off. I plugged it directly into a HDMI source device, uh, i.e. my monitor, and it stopped. So something about having it plugged into the TV capture card, it just doesn't seem to like to be captured for some reason. Uh, if I converted the display port to HDMI, it would probably work fine. There's a, there's a couple of things I could do, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, everything seems to work great at all. I'm, I'm also not seeing the driver for the LAN, so I think it probably does need the... Uh, driver irregardless for that but that's okay that is a majority of the testing i want to do hdmi everything seems to work great on this um there's a couple of things i'm not going to test but that's okay i mean plugging in an ethernet cord and usb devices and stuff like that is pretty redundant but uh, i do suspect that it probably does need that ethernet drive or driver ear regardless so i recommend downloading that and running the install on it and uh just the heck of it probably the audio too if there's they put it up on there there's probably a good reason for it so i'm going to leave it at that guys if you have any questions or anything like that or would like to buy me a cup of coffee i will leave some information in the description below otherwise i think i'm going to go ahead and call the video there have a great rest of the day and thank you for watching